Welcome to Trade Talk. I'm Andrew Gelfuso, Vice President of the Ronald Reagan Building and International Trade Center. I'm here today with His Excellency Andres Razans, Ambassador of Latvia to the United States. Your Excellency, welcome back to the Ronald Reagan Building and International Trade Center. Well, Great to see you here today. Thanks so much. Good morning. This month, Latvia will host the Eastern Partnership Summit. What countries are participating and why was the Eastern Partnership formed? Well, uh, yes, on 22nd of May in Riga, there will be a big event. Uh, the leaders of 28 EU countries, uh, plus the leaders of, uh, well, or representatives rather of six countries that are uh, part of Eastern Partnership uh, policy. That's kind of policy that was created for some time ago for countries, European countries, uh, that are not part of European Union but have this aspiration of, of, of getting closer. Some of them have uh, aspiration to even become member in due time, uh, somebody not. Well, it, those are six countries, uh, Ukraine, Moldova, Georgia, Belarus, Armenia and Azerbaijan. Uh, six countries uh, with very European history and, 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 and cultures. Uh, with very difficult and, and, and in many ways tragic histories last century, like like history of my country, but but with a great great deal of, of interest really to build uh, very close ties. And the policy is therefore for these countries to to, to, to help them to do that uh, in a way that uh, well, countries themselves perceive. Uh, um, well, uh, right way how to proceed in the relations with the EU. I, I mentioned that there are differences in opinions, how, how deep they would love to engage. What, what is the significance of, of the upcoming meeting? Well, the significance is that, well, it's, uh, first of all, it, it's, it's a great political message uh, from both sides that uh, uh, this relationship is for, for years, it's, it's uh, very strategic from the both sides uh, and uh, well EU leaders will reconfirm that they have strong interest strategic interest to build up relations and 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 help those Eastern Partnership mm -hmm. members who would wish to do that uh, come really very very close through different means either uh, well they have some of them have signed association agreements with the EU but but it's kind of uh, ever evolving process. When where do we will where will end exactly? We'll know that perhaps in in, in next 10, 15 years. But 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 for time being, it's really a great instrument to to, to transform e economies, uh, uh, political systems, and, and and countries as such. Is that the role that the Eastern Partnership has played in the Baltic region over the past few years, uniting economies? Well, uh, Eastern Partnership, that, that's a policy that, that was specifically designed for countries that, uh, for one or another reason, since the breakup of Soviet Union, uh, did not aspire uh, uh, membership of EU. For us it was a little bit different. It was, uh, well, different period, 90s, uh, and that was a uh, rather process of, 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 of uh, uh, accession I into EU. Uh, it was in some ways similar because it's lots about the, the, the change of, 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 of political systems, b b building the profound rule of law situation, uh, free economies, uh, etc. It's, it's, uh, but, but we went through that in the 90s. And, and, but uh, similarities are that, well, uh, without what, for instance, Baltic states or, or Latvia uh, in particular, what we have done in the 90s, without these reforms, what we did, it's, it, it would be really impossible, really, to be on, on a very positive and, 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 and good tr uh, dynamics of, of growth and, and development. How does the, the present situation in the Ukraine impact the discussions of the Eastern Partnership Summit? Well, it's, uh, well, it's uh, the summit as such, uh, it takes place uh, in a moment when, when there is ongoing war in Ukraine. It's a wartime summit, basically. 
all the previous ones, and before the Riga summit there were three previous summits, there were peacetime summits with a very different uh, geopolitical situation in, in Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, since uh, Russian invasion in Ukraine and uh, annexation of Crimea, uh, things changed quite, uh, quite dramatically. And uh, so the, that brings very difference to, to summit in Riga. Um, what does it, that, that, that does it mean for relations? Uh, well, first of all, uh, we don't see that it's kind of a competitive approach or, uh, or, 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 or uh, zero-sum game here that uh, either you go with EU or, or, or with other integration platforms, this Eurasian economic area, or uh, uh, it, 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 it's really uh, not the right approach. Well, if, if uh, European nations, if, if they decide to, to promote ties with, with Europe and, and still nobody questions that there, there are elements that are relevant for their relations with Russia perhaps, but at the same time uh, nobody can really s say either or. Uh, and uh, well, I, I think it's extremely important that uh, leaders of, of European Union nations in Riga, they say, well, they are, that well, Europe is very serious and 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 and, and very determined to uh, uh, do its job really to help a group of six uh, to, to to be on 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 a positive uh, track. Um, and then again, uh, six countries are very different. Uh, it, it's not kind of very unified and 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 sing, single group. Yes, single from the point of view that they are part of. Of, of Eastern uh, partnership policy, but uh, the aspirations, what, what each of them are seeking in relations with European Union differ from place to place. For instance, there is very clear interest, uh, an obvious uh, vocal and, and, and uh, crystal clear uh, determination in due time to join European Union in, from the from side of, for instance, Moldova or Georgia or Ukraine. And, and then there are other countries that are seeking either kind of strategic relationships that are built on, on other, other aspects of, of, of relations, not, not integration. Or, uh, so in a way, it's, uh, what, what we will be trying to do, well, it's up to the six countries individually. If they decide to build something more closer with the EU, fine. The, the sh support should be there, provided that countries are doing their own reforms. If they decide to do something else but still be part of this policy called Eastern Partnership, fine. Then they will have tailored approach, and and and, and so that's the that's what what I'm looking from 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 Rio Summit. In terms of trade, um, as you well know, the the EU and the United States are negotiating a transatlantic trade and investment treaty, commonly referred to as TTIP. Um, what is the significance of this agreement to the EU? Well, it's a very important agreement uh, when, when agreed and when signed and, and, and approved by, by, by the parliaments on both sides of the Atlantic. Uh, well, Europe or EU and United States are really strategic partners in many ways. Uh, not only this transatlantic relationship is known for uh, North Atlantic uh, uh, alliance, NATO, uh, for what we are doing together, Europeans and Americans, on, on security side. But, well, for United States, still the, the, the most important economic partner, it's, Euro it's Europe, European Union. Uh, trade is huge, investments are huge, and vice versa, European investments in the United States and American investments in Europe. Uh, there are lots of lots of uh, working places created on both sides of Atlantic because of this investment and trade, and uh, then if we look what what's happening in in, in the world in geopolitical uh, uh, transformation, not only security wise but as well on on economic side, there are other big players actually come already in the game, and, and some more will be coming, and uh, in. Well, let's say in 15, 20 years' time, world might look a little bit different place. Uh, the question is whether 
two most important significant economic players in, in the world these days, uh, European Union and the uh, United States, whether uh, we combine our, 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 our forces. Keeping in mind that we have as well not only common interest, economic interest, but as well very same value system, and it really differs uh, in relations with uh, absolute majority of, of other partners. So the question is, well, whether we can uh, agree. Uh, if we do that, uh, estimates show that there will, of course, it will additionally increase trade, but it, first of all, it will create a, uh, additional uh, uh, working places for uh, people in, in Europe and for people in the United States. Uh, then it's about who will, in many ways, influence the change of 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 of, of, of international trade pattern in the world in the years to come. I believe if 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 two uh, groups or two. Uh, uh, members of transatlantic community uh, do that together, I think we have very good chances really to uh, strategically make very important impact on anything what's developing in the world. If we don't do that, well, others will do, uh, not necessarily us. So in, in a way, that's, that's how, how the world is perceived today, and it's, it's strategically very important agreement we will sign. Are there um, aspects of TTIP that are of particular interest to Latvians? Uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, Latvia is a small, tiny nation. Sure. Of course, there are smaller nations as we are, so, but at the same time, we are not the biggest in the world. But at the same time, what we have seen uh, in, in 25 years of our transformation f fr from the breakup of, of Soviet Union and, and uh, uh, re-emergence of Latvia as an in independent state, we have greatly profited from free trade. And that's obvious. Uh, we, we tried to remove all the obstacles for free trade. And that has this, this approach, this philosophy has served us well. Uh, so we strongly believe that, uh, well, free and open trade is, is, is of great benefit for, for Latvia. The biggest uh, trading partner, well, the biggest market for our, our, our exports, Latvian exports, that's, that's EU, around 70% these days. And, uh, well, if estimates show right, and I have no any uh, uh, really proof that it, it should be different, it, when, when, when this agreement is signed and is in place, uh, economies on both sides of Atlantic will, will, give it, will have additional boosts of growth. That means uh, EU internal market will, will, will perform much, much better. And that creates additional opportunity for our, everything what we are doing as part of, of, of Eurozone economy. So in, in a way, we have strong interest. Then we have strong interest as well that ties between United States and Europe is getting much, much closer and strong, stronger. Uh, this relationship is of, of paramount importance for us and uh, besides what we have already, we be strongly believe that there is a need for this additional pillar in, in relations between the United States and, and Europe these days. There have been some concerns regarding transparency in the U.S. Is that a concern in the EU? Have there been other sticking points? No, I, I, I think the well, of course, it's very important that there is enough transparency when, 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 when agreements are, are discussed. At the same time, well, it's, it's, it's really about an agreement and, the, and transparency perhaps uh, does have some limitations at some point. Because if, if two sides are negotiating, uh, of course, uh, each and every side has its own strategy and, 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 and goals and, 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 and uh, uh, tactics, etc. I think sure. at the end, well, everything comes together and there's an agreement. But as far as I know, uh, since, since the beginning of our negotiations, uh, the, the, uh, lots of positive things ha have been done, basically, that well, the information is available. Uh, so are you confident that TTIP will pass? Uh, well, I, 
I strongly believe uh, that it, 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 it should pass. Uh, of course, I know as well that, that there are uh, uh, controversial opinions. Uh, but my impression is that very often uh, that is because of very uh, little, perhaps, information or, uh, or on the issues, perhaps. Uh, do you because sometimes it's, 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 there's a question whether TTIP will decrease or, for instance, on the European side, the Europeans are concerned that TTIP would, would, would bring lowering of standards in many areas in Europe. But TTIP is not about uh, lowering standards at all. It's, it's about something else. But there are lots of speculations. And, and then there are what we have seen as well, that there are interest groups uh, around the world and, and, and that, that and, 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 uh, and, and, and uh, uh, interested parties around the world that, of course, would, would, would like to see that uh, negotiations between Europe and United States fail, honestly speaking, because, well, uh, if, if we agree on something, then, then, then we can really do very important uh, impact, make an Im impact on, 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 on international trade order. If, if, if and and that, that creates, of course, the uh, sometimes uh, reactions in different places that creates uh, interest really to, uh, well, to bring in perhaps false arguments uh, in debate, arguing that well, TTIP is almost the something that would immediately would uh, somebody would remove our right to consume and eat these very small, nice Latvian cucumbers, but yeah. then suddenly we'll be ending up with cu cucumber size like that, it's of course, it's rubbish. But, but, but uh, if somebody wants to see us fail, as, uh, as, as failed si site negotiations, I believe that, mm -hmm. uh, well, it's obvious that uh, there's very clear, clear attempt to, to help us doing that, so yeah. <laughs> to turn the page from economics to culture, uh, Riga was selected as EU's uh, cultural capital for 2014. You've been a huge champion of that here in the United States. As part of the year-long celebration, those of us here at the Reagan Building were honored to host Riga and World Cities live paintings. We have a beautiful portrait of the building that, that was painted. Um, what were some of your highlights of the celebrations in Washington and, and also in Latvia? Well, uh, since uh, 2014, it really has been a very fascinating mm -hmm. time uh, for, for us working at, at, at Latvian Embassy here in D.C. Uh, I know, but not only in D.C., I think we, we, are, we have been trying really to uh, bring our uh, culture, our, our, uh, mm -hmm. the, the knowledge about our identity and uh, who we are and what we are doing to many places in the United States. Uh, 2014 gave us a fantastic platform because uh, one of Europe's absolutely, absolutely most beautiful and stunning cities, Riga, capital city of Latvia, has uh, uh, be, had been given a, a chance really to be the European capital of culture. And well, that means, of course, uh, if, if, if cities would like to use this opportunity, there are plenty of, of, of of, of ways how to present uh, uh, and 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 well Latvia as 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 uh, has been for a very long time a captive nation we have been well hidden behind a double a double Berlin wall mm -hmm. physical in Berlin city but something perhaps more uh, more difficult to penetrate and, and destroy uh, Soviet border as well was there so we have been separated from 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 the rest of Europe by uh, by by Berlin Wall and the concept of division of uh, in Europe eastern side and western side but as well Soviet border what that meant that meant uh, very practical uh, concrete problems or challenges for people that would love to enjoy European culture and and, and travel uh, that meant that not too many people from outside this wall uh, have been traveling to, to Riga and Latvia last 50 years of, of last century, uh, the second, second half of the last century. And, uh, and suddenly, when, when these walls are gone, Berlin Wall is away, there's no Soviet border anymore, 
borders are open, suddenly there's access to fantastic jewel like our capital, fantastic place really to visit. Uh, from the point of view of architecture, uh, it's uh, the capital of, of Europe when it goes to Jugendstil or Art Nouveau. We have plenty of these buildings in, in built, nicely built and preserved these days. Uh, old medieval architecture, uh, old city more than 800 years, uh, Northern European, North European city, great cuisine, 100% uh, uh, organic food. Uh, no giant cucumbers. No giant, but small, but still. <laughs> <laughs> but you can buy the giant. Uh, <laughs> but but so so I in a way, it's 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 great place. And 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 uh, what we are trying to we have been trying to do to, well, tell the story of of, of this city as European capital of culture. Uh, we have uh, a couple of areas where definitely uh, Latvia is punching above our weight when it comes to culture. And one area, for instance, is, 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 is choral music. Uh, and second area, opera singing and, and classical music. It's, well, we have two million inhabitants in, in Latvia, uh, approximately 800,000 do live in, in our capital city. But uh, when you look on how many world-class musicians uh, the small tiny nation of Latvia has produced it's really the numbers are very stunning uh, today among the top opera stars you, you will easily find many Latvians including here in, in, in New York City uh, uh, choral music and choirs that's another part so in a way there are lots of things we were able to really to show our friends and partners because of, of 2014 and this chapeau what, what our city uh, of Riga had. And, and this year, well, because of EU presidency, uh, there's again, of course, presidency, it's about uh, uh, political clout, it's about uh, economics, it's about uh, how, how to inject uh, additional not only economic growth uh, within the EU, but as well how to uh, adjust the European Union to, 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 the, to the requirements perhaps that, that today uh, international uh, order and, and, and as well citizens of Europe actually uh, request from Europe how to, how to uh, adjust uh, Europe to t uh, and to make sure that Europe really more or less comply with what's needed and, and presidency is doing that at the same time presidency gives uh, us as, as diplomats in the United States for instance a great opportunity as well to bring out something uh, from our culture uh, I hope that uh, we would be uh, successful really to cause uh, more and more uh, interest uh, uh, among our American friends really to come and visit this beautiful small nation in the north of Europe. Uh, it makes sense uh, and sometimes when I have been asked why to go to, to, to Latvia, what's, what's, what's that, that's, that, that special? Well, I say, well, we, of course there are so many special things, but, but just start by, begin by uh, taking seriously into account that well, perhaps it makes sense to visit places that you don't know exactly than to go to the places that uh, you know exactly what you're going to get. And the majority of, of huge European capitals and places, well, that they are known. Yeah. And there are no secrets anymore. Uh, you know what you to, to, to get, what you're, what you're going to get. You go to Latvia, well, you know something, but then perhaps you will get as well something you have not been expecting to, to, to see. So that's something what we are trying to, to promote because of the presidency. Two great platforms, 2014 and this year. And you seem to be uh, punching far above your weight here in, in D.C. as well. You've really raised the profile, you and uh, your lovely wife Gunta of, of Latvia here during all the cultural and, and economic activities you've been involved in. Um, I want to thank you, uh, Ambassador Razans, for being so generous with your time today. And I hope you'll come back really soon and, and visit us here at the Ronald Reagan Building and International Trade Center. Well, thank you so much. And, and really, it has been very, very 
enjoyable partnership with, with your center. Uh, I think it's really something what not only myself, but my staff as well at the embassy, they have enjoyed immensely. So we're looking forward for very good projects in the future. Thank you, sir. Thank you.